Okay, to do this, we need to control some of the height. And we can do this with utilizing the combiner. So I'm going to create a simple combiner. Okay. And I want one part go right here, but next I want to control it. And control is probably best with using constant color or constant height. So this way we can kind of manipulate how much height we want to display them. Okay, yeah, but I also want to control it. And the best way to control it's take from the mountain and going down. A um, couple things to control if we select directly. Okay, you can see right here it does not necessarily work very well for us. So what we want to do, let's go even we switch to the max. You can see it's kind of does not work very well. So I want to um, kind of control a bit better. For this I need change how this is coming so I need invert in some cases uh, so let's go do this way first to invert I'm going to uh, filters and we'll put inverter right here okay so this is already look a little bit better you can see we can control and it's have kind of middle but again I want the area around so what I want to do it is kind of expand this for this one we'll go use it our expander Okay, we can put it on a just before inverter. Okay, and in expander, we're going max. Let's go use hybrid. This is a little bit better. And we're going to take this and expand to about 30, 31. So you can see how bigger. So now at this point, if we're going right here, you can see we have a much nicer area to cover. So I can bring a little bit high up. So right there was a wind coming. Let's have this place for the rocks. They will blend much better together now. Okay, next let's go create new combiner. And in this combiner, we also can take connect our mountain. Okay, and we can take from this combiner to next. So at this point, we'll go open. We'll go select max. And you can see we can bring this max now. So we, our mountain still be there. We just bring um, the sands, sand back properly. Okay, let's go lock. And we can customize how much we want it. And notice right here, because below we have a very nice going around areas. And if you notice on the desert, it's what happened many times. So I'll just bring slightly up, maybe run right here. And let's preview. So you can see we have a nice dunes going, and I like how they're dissipating because it's a wind, maybe stop them. And going down. We could actually even bring even lower for those dunes. So we can bring them kind of even right this level. In this case, they will look even more natural. So again, right here, we have our rocks. And we have our dunes. Kind of start coming towards this. Soft dunes. Of course, you can increase if you want the height of them. And you can modify this by using your combiner. We can bring a little bit more down this way. And you can see... If we do it this way, so we increase this contrast, so they become a little more edgy. It's kind of a little bit higher peaks. Again, it's um, with those variables, so you can manipulate and adjust. Okay, so now let's go ahead and output some um, maps. And I want, for example, for the mountain, I want erosion output all of them. So for this one, I'm going to use high field output. So and I'm um, high output. So I'm going to go create one, two, three, four, just for this one. I want to also output my high map output here, and I also want output maybe two flow from my erosion because I use it here, and some high map from here without mountain.
So just have this different kind of outputs. Okay. In some cases, it's straightforward. So we just connect them here, connect them there, connect them there. Okay. Um, right here will be a little bit trickier because I can go and connect just to high field output. And you can see right here, I will apply. So if I needed to, to work on this, but if I'm going and apply to uh, my flow, some of this will over gone with my dune, so they overlap it. What I want to do in this case, I want to use it selector and I want to use it actually height selector. So let's go as example, we'll put one right here. So when we open and the height selector, I want to go all the way up, but I want to kind of cut down right here. So I want to preserve, don't affect those dunes. If for some reason I'm using this as a color map or reference. So I can go this way. Okay, we can go create another one. So we can put it right here. Okay, and the same thing. So we can go up and we can go take and kind of cut this height to area we want it. So it's don't go on low level. Okay, we can go okay right here. But also I notice it does not cut around. So to do this, let's use this height we're using before and use it as a mask. So look right now. Now we start cutting this area where we wanted before. So we can still control how much we want of this um, overall height, but also we can control masking for our next layer. So we don't affect with our input. Okay, so right here. Again, we can put more, I just don't want to, so I'll put it a little bit less. And we can bring this two more times. So we can connect to those areas. Because same masking, we can see we have it height, we have it flow, we have it our aware and we have it our deposits. So we can save those maps and you're using them when we start creating maps. Okay, next we're going to set a bit high resolution at least. And I'm going to build the world and save after it's completed. Okay, so it's done right here. We can go export it and again, if you purchase this pack, all these maps and this project file included inside a bonus pack.